Do you know about user-defined types in VBA? If not, this is a good opportunity to learn. I'm Philip from CodeCabinet.com. Before we get on topic today, a short interruption. This video is an excerpt of my just published course, Learning VBA Programming. This is a course suitable for people with beginner or intermediate level skills in VBA. It covers the VBA development environment, variable declaration and data types, procedures and arguments, object-based programming, control flow, error handling, debugging, and how to put all this together. This is a paid course. It is at a regular price of $200. But if you are lucky and you're watching this video shortly after it's published, you will get a 25% discount on that price by using the coupon code displayed here. All the information will also be in the video description down below. And now we get on topic with user-defined type. Well, I've got one more example for you, and that, that is a bit of a bonus, actually, because we are not going to use it in uh, this course, and you will actually only rarely need that. But um, I prepared it. I now think the data types, the mandatory data types video was long enough, so I make it an optional video, but I will show it to you you can create composite types that are not classes. They are somewhat similar to classes and objects, but these are user-defined types. And they are basically a um, uh, composite type built of many different, or multiple, not necessarily many, but multiple different simple data types. And I created um, the type person as an example. You need to define these types in the declaration section of a module. And then you can use them at other locations. And the private and public keywords are as we know them. And then the real keyword defining the type is the type keyword and then there is just a name for this data type and I named my data type person because it has a first name, a last name and a date of birth and they are basically simple data types, a string, another string and a date. And what I can do now inside this procedure here, the user defined types demo, I say a dim demo person as person. So this person refers to this definition of a type. And then I assign values to the individual parts of this composite type and that is happening the same way as we would assign normal standalone strings and dates and at that moment it's not yet obvious what the benefit is. You get these uh, values displayed here in, in this message box and you could basically do exactly the same if you um, in this procedure say dim first name as string, dim last name as string, dim date of birth as date. But it makes a difference if you pass this to another procedure. And that is what I illustrated here. I created a procedure and we will talk about procedures and arguments later. So the, this is a real bonus because it's a bit a peek ahead and I uh, failed to draw properly. Now, now this would be the approach with the 
individual variables dim as uh, dim first name as string last name as string and so on and we pass them along to procedure each on its own that is doable with three values but if you think about a person maybe this person also has an email address a social security number maybe a spouse an address and lots and lots and lots of other person related data that you need to um, pass along pass around in your application as one person so you don't only have three variables describing the person but maybe 30 and then this approach using the arguments one by another is tedious because you need to add 30 arguments to each procedure that is supposed to take on person information the difference with our user defined type is here we just pass in this uh, person thing which is once again our type person from up here and we can push that into the function as one chunk and inside the function then we can go ahead once again and do stuff as we did here that we process uh, that was a misdrawing but you you get the idea then we can inside the procedure we can process the individual values of that person type so it is very convenient if we need to move the composite data as one chunk from one procedure to another